Welcome to the Humphreys Highlight, an insight to our English countryside. And today we are featuring Windsor, one of the most visited places in, in the UK and for very good reason, because it is not only the most beautiful little market town, it is also obviously home to one of the most magnificent castles in the land. And today we're going to share with you just very briefly, some of the um, inf some of the things that you can enjoy, and a little taste of um, of the history through um, history of Windsor. Uh, now, Windsor Castle is absolutely fabulous, and the opportunity to wander through those incredible rooms and seeing all the paintings and the artwork and and so on and just feel the history oozing out of of, of every wall it has a fabulous history back to uh, william the conqueror who realized its strategic position um on on the banks of the thames and um and built a castle there that doesn't quite didn't quite look like the castle does um today but it is now apparently Queen Elizabeth II's favourite home. Um, we know that she loves spending her weekends there um, and she is the latest of 40 British monarchs to, um, to have spent, spent time there. All of them have made their own, uh, their own mark as it's, it's gone through. So King Edward III um, probably made some of the initial big changes. Um, and it went from being William the Conqueror's uh, fortress to a rather beautiful, beautiful palace. Henry VIII and the Tudors added maybe a little bit more of the fun element to it. Um, and, uh, and some of those Tudor elements are, are very much, very much there today. And um, it also played its part, as you will learn as you wander through the corridors of the castle, it played its part in our, our civil war as well. And Charles II certainly, certainly loved it and made, made a big mark. And a few little facts about, um, about Windsor. The kitchen clocks are always five minutes fast um, because you wouldn't really want to serve dinner late for uh, Her Majesty and her, her guests. And they always have a fabulous selection of wine to choose from, all 18,000 bottles of it um, down, in the, um, down in the cellars. So um, they're certainly going to eat and drink well if you're ever lucky enough to dine at, um, at Windsor. And the Round Tower is called the Round Tower, but it's not round, um, which is one of those little anomalies which we love so much in our, um, in our stately homes. Now, St George's Chapel featured wonderfully in uh, a couple of royal weddings, actually, um, notably um, Meghan and Harry. And it was so glorious to see Windsor in all of its majesty with the sun shining, not a cloud in the sky. Um, and there was something very intimate about um, having, the winds, having the wedding in, in Windsor. And uh, I'm sure you saw some of the, some of the pictures. Um, and the Knights of the Garter um, are all, all of the heraldry and so on is, is housed in St George's Chapel um, and it's not hereditary. So uh, when um, somebody, uh, a Knight of the Garter dies, um, they either, uh, they have to hand back all of the, um, the heraldry and so on that, that goes with it. And a lot of that is also housed in, uh, in St, George's, St George's Chapel. Here you have some stunning views. Um, the east side of, of the castle, I mean, that view is, is quite extraordinary. Um, and there's a, a wonderful area where um, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert um, had a little pe uh, pet cemetery for all of their much, much loved horses and, um, and dogs, and they're all, all buried there. So there's a, so much history at, at every turn. Now, we love to make, um, we love to suggest that um, you make a bit of a day of it because Windsor is well worth um, a whole day. And um, a typical itinerary could include, as you can see, a river cruise, an afternoon tea, um, a little wander around Windsor. So um, maybe as a suggestion for your day, if you arrive in Windsor, uh, you can meet your um, 
uh, meet your guide, um, have a little, um, have a fabulous private tour around the castle, learn some history and the stories and the anecdotes and so on. Um, and, uh, and then really see Windsor from another perspective um, as you jump on a, um, a horse-drawn carriage and then climb aboard your beautiful Skippered River launch um, and see it from that way, that way too. Now the, the um, carriage riding through Windsor Great Park is utterly magical. And the brilliant thing is it is um, available for all weathers as well, because there are the open carriages, as you can see in this picture here, um, but there are also ones with, um, with roof and roofs and so on to, to protect you from the English elements, which is always a good thing. And we'll provide blankets and champagne or But there's an amazing opportunity to see Frogmore House and all of the key landmarks in, um, in Windsor Great Park. And your driver um, will be probably one of the most knowledgeable people in, um, in Windsor. So he will happily point out all of those, those fabulous landmarks. It's a beautiful way to see um, a very precious town. Now that picture on the down on the bottom right is the bridge that joins Windsor and Eton. So while you're there, it's a lovely opportunity to um, wander over and have a wander around um, the beautiful little sort of boutique shops and restaurants and so on uh, that are in, in Eton as well. So you can happily combine the two, which is just lovely. That's the long walk in the top there um, that you can enjoy and your, your carriage ride. Um, and there's a, a little evening a street scene in, um, in, in Windsor. So Windsor is located um, I mean, just about 40 minutes from London, just um, sort of south um, southwest of London. Um, so really easy to get to on the train, um, by chauffeured car, um, and uh, whichever way you choose, really. Um, but we will be happy to, to arrange that. Um, it is surrounded by incredible restaurants. Um, Bray is the village of Bray is just a hop, skip and a jump. And you've got um, uh, the Waterside and the Heinz Head and the Fat Duck and all sorts of fabulous restaurants very close by. So if you want to combine the two, we will certainly happily arrange that. And you're well on the way if you're coming out from London, heading down towards Stonehenge and Bath, um, up to the North Cotswolds if you choose. Um, but there's a huge amount right on the doorstep. So um, it fits really nicely into your, um, into your itinerary. And just to share a, a, a sort of a typical um, day in Windsor that we would arrange for our, um, for our guests. Um, uh, upon arrival, uh, your chauffeur can take you to one of the gates of the Great Park, uh, where you will be met by your carriage driver. And you can climb aboard with your, um, your hot chocolate or your champagne or whatever, um, whatever you choose. Um, and enjoy uh, your time just pootling through, watching the beautiful horses uh, through the Great Park. Your driver will then take you to the gate near to the castle where you'll be met by your guide. And you can then have two, two and a half hours probably um, of walking through those incredible state rooms in, um, in the palace, which is, is utterly magical. And you can then have a choice when you've finished your, um, your castle tour. Um, you can either choose one of the lovely little restaurants in Windsor, um, the Windsor Grill and, and so on. There are some lovely, lovely choices. Or you could climb aboard your beautiful river launch and have a fabulous picnic lunch aboard uh, while learning all of the stories of, um, of the riverside. There is, there's lots to do and, um, and lots to see. So um, whatever your choice, whichever elements you would like to, um, like to include, we will happily arrange it, um, arrange it for you. And here are some ideas of, um, of the pricing from um, a simple day uh, visiting Windsor, having a private tour of the castle with a, a chauffeured car to and from London through to your absolute ultimate choice, 
um, in which you can have a, um, a private tour of the castle when it is closed to the public. Now that is a real treat. Obviously it's not available every day of the year, um, but it, it certainly is possible. So um, if you'd like to do it and if we can make it happen, you have our word, we will, we will do so. Um, and obviously including the magical ca carriage ride and your river cruise as well with your wonderfully knowledgeable skipper. You probably will see Windsor from, from all sides. So that is our little trip around, um, around Windsor. Uh, I hope you, you are excited about the prospect of visiting. Please call us, please email us, and we will arrange absolutely everything for you. We look forward to seeing you there.